Good morning. Nice, uh, crisp Saturday morning. Uh, got a few days of uh, cooler weather coming in. So uh, I hate leaving projects unattended. So I am going to try to finish up this whole rock thing today and uh, get it completed. Um, I'm going to try to get as much of these dug up and put over as I can. And then we're going to go and get some of the uh, white or marble rock and uh, finish that up as well. But uh, look at these azaleas behind me. Kind of cool. Pretty good uh, backdrop right there, huh? Neat. Um, I still need to get this mowed up, and I think I mentioned in a past video, I'm uh, going to plant some, um, plant my potatoes over here, and just see what they do, and then uh, um, maybe a couple sweet potatoes, but anything else, I really don't have a real plan other than maybe some wildflowers or something like that, since the bees are going to be right off on the other side of those uh, trees there. So, beehive is going. Right in that area right there, so. All right, well, you know what it looks like uh, with me digging up some rocks, so. Um, I'm going to get cracking on that and I'll bring you back in later. All right, a couple hours later and I think we have all the rock out. So all we got left is a stump here and a huge root over there and there's several uh, vine roots that are in here as well that I eventually want to put. So that part's done. There's the last of my, my wagon there. And we've almost got, I mean, we're just going to need very little uh, bought, so if any, after I get this through. So we'll see what it looks like. All right, I'm going to empty this last load. more? Well, these are the cement oh. things, and then I did dig for one more. Okay. Um, I burned through two batteries. So. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, the bridge all the way to our, our house looks much better. Yeah, it's
All right, so that's the last of the rock that we have on hand. Let me see what I can grab. We do need to buy some. It's not going to be much at all. There's a few pieces here. And if anything, I may just be able to get some pea gravel. Going. Those rocks went much further than I thought. Say hi to the maple tree. So everything from over there filled in those two spots. Eight bags of uh, eight more bags of the uh, um, white rock, marble rock, whatever, and I can call this part uh, kind of done. I'm not to the point yet of planting anything new. Give that a few weeks, but uh, I'll bring you back for the uh, for the marble and on to other projects. I've already started other projects, but you know. So I'll be back. as done with this rock project as I'm going to be right now. So we got the marble to finish off the side there. So there that center part is as, e as centered as it's going to be. Um, and then all of these rocks. We did go ahead and buy some uh, it's called egg rock. So it's just the smaller rock and strategic strategically moved it into you know filled some of the voids Ugh. and same thing over here now I'm wanting to get bigger um, spring center pieces there so added that rock right there and Filled in with the egg rock. It was either going to be egg rock or like river rock or even pea gravel. But pea, I was looking, pea gravel is too small. If I wanted to do any more filling, I'd probably get some river rock. I think it looks nice. Heck of a project. It's taken me probably almost two months. Not even sure anymore when I started. But there we go. I hated leaving this incomplete. And then what I'll end up doing over on 
this side now is kind of just leveling it off. Fill in where it needs to be filled in, level off, get rid of the vines, and maybe plant some grass. Slowly by, uh, slowly that um, stump will rot away. Already is. So at some point, I think dirt was filled in right here. So I want to take that and kind of move it over and kind of flatten things out a little bit right there. Make this look a little better. Be able to fill it in with the bricks. And maybe put a uh, azalea there or something. Just something small. Well, we will call that complete. That took a lot of uh, heavy lifting to do. Um, our bodies will eventually recover from the lifting. But, all right, so my shot from here. I mean, it does not look as overwhelming as it used to look. Well, last year I had no idea what I was going to do with the area. Um, as the uh, jasmine vine was just crazy uh, invasive. So, because I had pulled it once, it came back. And then I planted some grass. It came up but immediately died, and then it, the weeds just took over. So, this is like my third or fourth attempt of trying to do something in this area. But, it looks really good. I'm pleased with the, um, with how it turned out. I'm surprised that that area was able to fill both, both sides there. But, uh, again, another project done. Many more to go. I'll never be out of projects around here, which is cool. So I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you again. Have a good one.